Hey guys, today I want to do a little bit of a video on, on banking infrastructure and how it's it's kind of like a failure over here in the Philippines as far as uh, stores and malls go. I find that a lot of people don't like waiting in ATM lines or bank lines, and I'm one of those people. I've, I've gone and talked to the managers at banks and talked to them about their ATM issues and stuff, and they don't, they really don't care. They're just in, the, in there to put in there eight or 10 hours a day or whatever at the bank and, and be out of there. They really, most most managers do not even care. When I talked to them, they, they said, well, that's that's um, our, our a person that works for us that fills up the ATMs. Well, you, then you need to take care of that and talk to those people maybe to fix that problem. And, and I addressed that with the person and they said, no, that's upper management. And I said, well, maybe you need to tell upper management and and, and, and they just kind of blew me off and, and, and that was the end of that, you know? And um, I remember, talking to these people at these banks several times and, and 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 you know when you're going to these banks there's always a big line they have like five atms there and it's still a huge line because either half the machines are down or they're they're not filled up properly or then you, you go to another place you go to another place to try to find an atm inside the mall and both of them are closed down or empty uh, you go to another place in the, the same mall, that one's uh, either broke or empty. And then you find you have to go to another bank, you know, another bank ATM, which isn't your bank. And then you have to pay the fees in order to pull your money out or you just leave and come back on another day. And sometimes I try to be the first one in, in the um, mall to try to beat that. And usually around the holidays or whenever there's a holiday or um, a time when people go on vacation or something, usually these, these ATMs are all flooded and, and usually half of them are empty or they're emptying out. By the time you get up to the front, the machine's empty or what have you. And it's a, it's a big infrastructure problem around Christmas because I'll tell you, Christmas over here means long lines at ATMs. And it doesn't mean it everywhere for everyone. It's it's in different areas, it's, it's, it's different because I notice if you go up to Manila, some of the malls don't have lines. You know, you go up to an ATM or something like that, the lines are, are, are just not that long. It's, it's really kind of nice. And it's refreshing to have a place where you can walk up to the ATM, take your money out, and walk away. I usually see it as a banking issue if you have more than three people waiting in line at an ATM. It means that you need more ATMs out there. It needs it, it just needs to be addressed. And when you look at the line sometimes in the bank, I mean, I have to wait in line to go into the bank sometimes a half hour to an hour sometimes to see a teller. To see a teller. Even to talk to a manager or sometimes even to get changed. I mean, I remember walking in there, I was looking for to get um, some 20 peso coins. I was looking for a bag of 100. And um, I walked up to the front because the, 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 the guard there says I can walk up to the front for that because it only takes a second. And it never takes a second. It usually takes about 20 minutes. They have to try to scoop up all the coins, 20 peso coins from all over the place. But you would think that a bank and their safe would have a whole bunch of bags of, of 20 peso coins, but they don't. That's the amazing part. You know, and um, the banks over here are a little bit slow on that because people need change you need change for stores you need change for big stores the mall mall stores need change um and i know that some of those mall stores probably have have first dibs on those coins or whatever or packs of 20s or packs of 50s and hundreds and 200s and 500 peso notes and thousand peso notes they get all the new ones or the best ones i'm sure but when we go in there and we try to get this stuff it's almost impossible and that's an issue for small business owners and things like that. Now, I get 20 peso coins for traveling. I like having 20 peso coins. They're, they're just nice and they're easy to use, especially when you pay for a, a tricycle or you, you pay for um, a, a bus or, or whatever you're using, you know, a jeepney or whatever. 20 peso coins come in handy or 20 peso notes come in handy, even 50 peso notes. You always want to carry a bunch of those in your um, fanny pack or in your or in your pocket or what have you. But it is part of the infrastructure over here that the banks are kind of failing the stores because in order for stores to sell stuff, people need money. And if I have to wait an hour in, in line and it's seven o'clock at night and, and, and you know, they close at nine, it's only gonna give me an hour of shopping maybe, you know, and I'll just give up and come back the next day. You know, and come back in the morning, and and that or maybe I'll forget about it while I go home. But it seems like over here, a lot of the banks really don't care about the stores that that count on them, and and that's that's a huge part of the missing link over here is that I think that 
malls could be way more successful over here if you put in more ATMs. It's just part of the deal over here, but they just don't get the impact of those ATMs. Those ATMs are important in order for bank for stores to succeed over here. I see some stores they go out of business after a short time or whatever because they, you know, people can't get money. They they just can't get money or they don't have any money on them. And I walk by stores sometimes because I say, "Well, I don't have enough money in my pocket." So, you know, and I don't want to wait in line at an ATM, so I'm just going to go home. I'm sure other people think the same way here, not just expats, I'm sure Filipinos think the same way too, that when they that when they're in the mall and they see something that they want, and they don't have credit cards or whatever. Most of the people over here don't have credit cards. Some people do. But they see something that they like. They say, well, you know, I don't want to have to walk over to the ATM and wait an hour just to get something here. So I'm just going to walk out walk out, and, and leave. And that, I'm sure that happens quite a lot over here. So I think a lot of people, a lot of the stores suffer from ATM shortages, you know, or, or ATMs being down or not being loaded every day. And sometimes I can just go down to the, the local 7-Eleven here and I can load up on cash. But, you know, the, a, the ATM that, down here usually dispenses all 100 peso notes. So if I take out a huge sum of money, it gives me like about 100, 100, um, one, 100 notes, you know. So it's, it's, it's crazy. And I have this big stack of bills and stuff like that. Or it'll give me a bunch of 500s or something instead of the 1,000 peso notes, which I like because it's easy to carry around. And it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy the way that these machines work and dispense. They never have enough of the proper notes in there. They just never do. They, they, they just seem to um, run out and then somebody puts uh, out of order or what have you on there. It's just part of, this, of living here in the Philippines. It's something that we have to get used to. And I hope that somebody at a bank in the Philippines notices this because I, I for one, do not like to tolerate waiting for an hour or two hours in line at any bank and I refuse to do that I'll, I'll go I'll walk around for an hour to try to find a bank bank ATM that's empty before I'll wait in that line that's just me have I waited in those lines before yes it's not fun and sometimes the people at the front they fall asleep yeah, let's say there's five ATMs there they, they fall asleep there or they're on their phone you know, they're, they're, they're like so so into their phone, they're typing on their phone and they're, you know, dilly-dallying up there. And and the the machine will sit empty up there for a while and there's, there's four other machines that are being used. And what I'll do is I'll step out of the line, walk in the front and go to that empty machine because what happens next is all the people, because they're not paying attention, they'll think that that machine is out of order. So nobody will be using that machine sometimes. So I'll watch and then I'll step up to that machine and guess what, it's good. You know, and I'll be pulling money out of it. And and the the guy looked at me and laughed. He says, he says, yeah. He says most most people here they don't pay attention. So he says I let the people if they want to walk up and use it. They can if the guys are going to stand there like like you know, and not pay attention. I'll let anybody go. Uh, yeah, and I know the guy there, so he's he's pretty cool. He always laughs when I say hey, I'm I'm not going to leave that machine empty. I'm going to go use it. And he goes, yeah, go ahead. You know, people aren't going to pay attention, and that's the way it should be. You know, if people don't pay attention. I'm gonna jump in and take that because it's 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 free right now. It only takes me a minute to get my money out. Why not do that? You know, I hate to jump in front of people, but if people aren't gonna pay attention, that's their problem, not mine. But that's just being me, you know. And sometimes I've told people, hey, 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 and and then they look around and then they go back on their phone again. You know, I mean, that's the way the Philippines is. People that are that haven't come to the Philippines yet need to understand that the Philippines is is really different. It's really, really different here. You're going to see a lot of things that you don't see back in the States. You're going to see, you're going to have to have, have to learn patience. You're going to have to learn how to deal with things in a different way. You, you really got to sometimes hold your temper back if you have a temper. You really, and sometimes you have to tell people when they messed up and stuff like that. When you go out to uh, restaurants and things like that, you got to speak up for yourself, but you also have to speak up for yourself at banks too. And let the managers know. If they get enough complaints, maybe they'll fix this ATM problem. It's not in every area. Some areas are better than others. BGC, um, there's places up in Manila, Makati, where there's not really a line to get your money or anything. And that's the good part about living in those areas. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. It was a little bit of a different subject, but I want to talk about that because a lot of the newbies don't understand the way things work over here. But anyway, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. God bless, guys. Take care.